When I refer to a map image, what I mean is the image, like a JPEG or a um, PNG file, that we will export from the QGIS program in order to um, show what your final results are or an, in, or an intermediate step so that I can see what you've done without actually having to um, have the GIS program opened. So these map images, a final or intermediate map for you to save and to share. When you're saving and sharing these, what I would ask you to do is either save it as a PDF format if you just have one map that you want to share or if you want to put a bunch of maps together, what I would suggest is saving each one as an image file, like a .png file or a .jpg file. And then you can um, add multiple ones of those images into a program like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. And then I'll be able to see all of your maps in one document. If you are saving as a PNG or JPG image, what I would ask is that you use at least 300 DPI dots per inch resolution so that I can see all of the detail of the work that you've done. I'll easily be able to read your map if you save it at that sort of resolution. Um, at lower resolutions, I won't be able to make out all of that detail. So once again, this is what the um, this is what the map canvas would look like in QGS and now what we're going to do is once you have your map looking the way you want it to including all the things like a title and a, and a um, legend and a um, scale bar and all of those things then you'll go under layout here and you'll go down to export an image or export as PDF. So if you um, export as image basically what's going to be exported is not the entire thing shown here but only what's in this white area here. So you can kind of think of that as your virtual piece of paper you're using to put all of this material on and then it will be exported as a uh, as a PDF or or um, PNG or JPEG image and then once you have that image it's just going to be an image file. It's, it's not going to be something that you can any longer turn on and off these various layers but it makes it easy for me to look at and see what you think your final map should look like and then um, I'll easily be able to see it from there. I, I won't need to have the data that you used um, in order to make this map. I'll just have an image of the map that you made for, on your map canvas and that's, how, um, that's what you'll upload for the exercises in this course.